Approximately 20% of Alberta is covered by wetlands. They're highly diverse and productive ecosystems providing ecological, economic, and cultural values, such as mitigating floods and droughts, improving water quality, sequestering and storing carbon, providing habitat for wildlife, fish, and plants, supporting resource industries such as agriculture and forestry, and providing intrinsic values for Indigenous peoples' culture, tradition, and knowledge. The Alberta Wetland Classification System was released in 2015, unifying the entire province under one holistic classification system. With support from Alberta Innovates, the Alberta North American Waterfowl Management Plan Partnership and Prairie Habitat Joint Venture, Ducks Unlimited Canada has released a plain language, visually engaging field guide to accompany the Alberta Wetland Classification System. The field guide can be used by anyone to identify and classify wetlands in Alberta helping support wetland conservation efforts across the province. There are 24 detailed fact sheets covering each wetland class, form, and type in the guide. Embedded within the fact sheets are over 250 images and illustrations of wetlands, soil, water chemistry, and common plant species. Wetland identification and classification often begins with an investigation of the soil. Hydric or wet soil characteristics develop over the long term and are considered reliable wetland indicators. In organic soil wetlands, or peatlands, thick layers of dead or decaying plant material build up over long time periods under saturated or flooded conditions. 90% of Alberta's wetlands are peatlands. They're commonly referred to as muskeg or formally classified as bogs and fens. Mineral soil wetlands lack the deep peat accumulation of peatlands, but have other distinct patterns of red or brown mottling within their soils, caused by alternating wet and dry soil conditions. Mineral wetland classes include swamps, marshes, and shallow open water wetlands, also referred to as lowlands, ponds, or sloughs. Wetland classes are further divided into forms using the prevalent vegetation community, tree, shrub, graminoid, or aquatic plant cover, Bogs, fens, and swamps are more common in the boreal forest region and are largely represented by either wooded or shrubby forms. Marshes and shallow open water wetlands have fewer forms due to their lack of woody vegetation. They're characterized by either graminoid species such as grasses, sedges, rushes, and cattails, or aquatic species submersed or floating in open water less than two meters deep. Each wetland form can be further divided into types using water permanence and chemistry gradients. These features influence the presence and composition of plant communities adapted to each wetland's conditions. For example, peatlands fall along an acidity-alkalinity gradient. Bogs are acidic with characteristic black spruce trees. Fens are influenced by groundwater connections, introducing more nutrients to the system. With increasing nutrients, tamarack or larch becomes the more dominant tree species. The mineral wetland classes, swamps, marshes, and shallow open water wetlands are characterized by seasonally fluctuating water levels, which further classify them into water permanence types, temporary, seasonal, semi-permanent, and permanent, each with their own fact sheet in the field guide. Permanent shallow open water wetlands are likely the most iconic wetland type. Surface water is always present, even during drought conditions. To differentiate these wetlands from lakes, Remember that the maximum water depth in a wetland is 2 meters. The Alberta Wetland Classification System Field Guide provides a classification decision key to walk users through a step-by-step -step process in identifying the wetland class, form, and type. The key relies on using readily observable characteristics and particularly common wetland plant species to guide your classification. A plant identification section of the guide describes over 80 of the most common Alberta wetland plants. It is our aim for this resource to promote wetland stewardship and conservation practices across Alberta. To learn more and to download or purchase your copy of the field guide, visit our website.